What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Smallville. This is going to be seven. Let's jump into it. You know, uh, if you're not in the mood for my spaghetti, we could always order in Thai. I want to look good for Lana's birthday party. Nobody likes me. Aw. I'm a cow, but... No. I've got a new plan. From now on, no more food. Just this. Cutting the heads off supermodels. It's kind of redundant, isn't it? Kind of looks like Amy Adams Still a little bit. Still don't have anything to wear to Lana's party. Face, like her eyes and nose. What's up? Uh, well, Pete and I were kind of hoping you could give us a quick algebra download. Thought Clark usually helps right? you guys. Amy Adams. He's a little preoccupied helping I think the birthday girl. I think who I'm thinking of. <laughs> we'll leave him by your lunch. That looks uh, appetizing. Losing weight is never pretty. Uh, we're getting a little game together. You want in or you want to keep whale watching? <laughs> <laughs> Dust him back off. Chill out, cool guy. I didn't know you were chubby chaser. <laughs> what an asshole. I think someone that big would have a thicker skin. <laughs> you think someone that stupid would have a thicker head? Yeah, asshole. Jody, we talked about this. I'm tired of waiting, weighing, and keeping a diary of everything that I eat. I understand all of that. You can't just stop eating. It's not healthy. I mean, it looks like she's still Honey, eating. you're beautiful already. She's still calories. No, Dad. Right? I'm not. Mom wasn't fat. That's sad. Oh my god, that's not even fat! Oh! What? Bro, is that Amy Adams? I am shook. If it is, it'll probably tell me in the credits, right? Oh. Stud. Oh, it is! I was right! I'm shook. I don't want to have to go through this physical nonsense for five years. Well, let's hope not. There is one thing I need to talk to you about. Your blood work came in. You have an unusually elevated white cell count. Like leukemia? It's not likely I don't get sick. Are you on any medication? Nope. You have any allergies? No. Childhood illness? Asthma. When did that stop? The day I lost my hair. Is this going somewhere? If this were anywhere else, I'd order a battery of tests, but I do see a lot of this in Smallville. Why should Smallville be any different? Some say it's because the Luthicorp plant has contaminated the environment. I very much doubt that. Mm. Let's order those tests. Now, I want this to be special. Thanks for the lifeline. It's a math midterm. It's not like I pulled you out of a burning building. Lana, I just wanted to get your opinion on the balloons. Well, birthday extravaganza has been pretty distracting. Having a birthday party at Lexi's mansion seems pretty cool to me. Stop being my party a long time ago. If it was up to me, it would be pizza and loud music with my friend. Did you tell Nell that? We've been through a lot the past few months. I figure I should give her this one. Lana. Guess what? I just heard I got to try it with Kansas State. That's incredible. Hey, congrats. Oh, I love his 90s hair. They want me there on Saturday. Oh, you can't even say thank you? It's Nell's big night. I was just telling Clark it wasn't important. Yeah, Scout's honor. I want you to go. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. This is good news for you. Kansas State gives Whitney a full scholarship and Lana gives him a tongue bath. How's that good news? <laughs> even I'm having a hard time following skewed Ross logic. Hi, Pete. Jody? She is so young. You look Dinner? I was still looking for a euphemism, but... Are you okay? Never better. My diet's just starting to pay off. Bought some new clothes. You look great. Thank you for sticking up for me yesterday. Most people wouldn't have done that. Most people can't stand, Dustin. Listen, I was wondering, do you have a date for Lana's party? Ooh, come on now. No, he's still free. Would you like to go with me? Yes. Say yes. He'd love to. Great. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Uh. Bye. I don't get it. Women dig me. Oh my no. god. No, it's like she lost that weight overnight. If she could do that, half the school would be after that secret. Hello, Lana, hi, come in. Lana, can I uh, interest you in a latte? Bad waitressing flashbacks. I brought over the produce order for the party. Nell's planning this party like a royal wedding. <laughs> I can tell. Ooh, bad. I got the post in the West Field. I hit some granite, but I jammed it through. Very impressive. Oh. Yeah, sledgehammer. Somebody's got to work around here. Punch those abs. I'm hiding out. You have my sympathies. All this attention is a little unnerving. Well, if you like, I could be your escort on Saturday. You could be my escort. <laughs> you know, so I can fend off the throngs of adoring fans. Clark. I'd like that. Great. I better go. If I'm way too long, Nell will probably send out a search party. And Clark, promise me I'll make it this time. I promise. Yeah. Escort to fend off the adoring fans. What's wrong with that? I just don't want to see you get hurt. He ain't gonna get hurt. Mom, Lana and I are just friends. Look at him. 
I'm, I'm officially butting out. Uh, so what are you gonna get her for her birthday? I don't know. My mother always said the best gifts come from the heart. Smart lady. Jody, you feeling okay? You look a little... Yeah, don't worry, Dad. I'm feeling great. I even got a date for Lana's party. That's terrific. But I want you to eat something more than those uh, shake things, all right? You know what? I will. I'm done counting calories. Oh, I've got to go. Don't stay up too late. Okay. Bye. Girl, you know you got to you gotta take the shoes off. It makes you eat, feel like you're even thinner. Damn. Oh, she was still wearing, like, prosthetic? Damn. Uh-oh. Mm. Yeah. This is a pretty sensitive topic, I think, for a lot of people. <laughs> now you gotta clean up that mess? Hell no. Hell no. Oh no! Bro, why the fuck did her jaw open so big? Oh my god. Scary. Getting your morning lawn fix? Oh. Chloe, don't you ever knock? Nope. It's a barn, Clark. Is there a reason you're here early, or do you just enjoy busting my chops? Just Put enjoy busting your chops. Did you hear about the accident last night? A deer was hit out on Route 5. It's not exactly wall of weird material. Check out the paper. Animal control said that the deer died of causes unknown. Not much unknown about a bumper at 60 miles an hour. I'd love to run down theories with you, but I've got chores to do. I still haven't figured out what to get Lana for her birthday. Well, you or your family knows people at animal control, right? Well, I was thinking maybe we could stop by there before school. You know, you could use your pole. We could take a couple of pictures. I'll help you out with your gift-giving dilemma. What time you all start But I want it to be something unique. Nine o'clock? Just don't make it as unique as what you gave me last year. Ah! Very impressive use of pull. I can't believe we're creeping around looking for roadkill. The deer's in there. The door's locked. Um, I'm gonna go find a maintenance worker. They actually, like, kept the deer, though. That seems... Oh, it's open. If it got hit by a car. That? Ken Charm. Wouldn't they just dispose of the carcass? Oh, I guess unless they... Go. They suspected something weird. Looks like jerky. The lab report says the deer lost something like 80% of its body fat. It's like it's been liposuctioned to death. What do you think it is, Chloe? Some fat-sucking vampire in town? This is Smallville, Clark. Home Could be. Strange. America's strangest town. Jody, honey, are you, uh, are you okay in there? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I've got to go to Metropolis for a few days or I'm going to lose this client. When oh. will you be back? Gee, Not she till Sunday different. morning. Which means I'm going to miss your big date. Okay, it's no big deal. Well, do you think maybe I could see you before I leave? I'm kind of indecent at the moment. Honey, I think that we need to talk to somebody. I, I think probably she. I, I just to want you to, to look in a mirror and be happy. Daddy, I am. Most of my friends are trying to get out of high school. I was meeting with your principal. Apparently you guys are in dire need uh, of a new computer lab. Uh, I figured uh. I could help. They might even name a lunch special after you. How'd you end up here? My plant manager, Gabe, is always going on about his daughter, the reporter, and the torch. Thought I'd drop by and say hello. She wasn't around, but I was struck by this. That's Chloe's hobby. She thinks she can trace all the freak things in Smallville to the meteor shower. Uh, interesting theory. Most people think it's crazy. Maybe. Do you remember where you were when they fell? Not really. My parents hadn't adopted me yet. I do. I was right here in Smallville. My mother wanted me to spend some quality time with my dad. He brought me here on a business trip. Funny how one day can change your whole life. What happened? I was out in a cornfield when the first meteor hit. Oh, Tidal damn, gorgeous. Ah. Next thing I remember, I was waking up in Metropolis General completely bald. Lex, I didn't know. Not many people do, Clark. I should have died that day. Instead, I walked away with this. I'm sorry. He Why? looks good with the, sh with the bald head, fault. though. When I was younger, well, I thought it was a curse. Kind of is his fault. But I began to see it as my gift, the thing that defined me. Fault, but you ever wonder what you'd fault. be like? You know, if you hadn't come that day? It doesn't matter, Clark. It happened. I think my future is going to be brighter than that spoiled rich brat that walked into that cornfield. Mr. Luther. Okay, okay. It's Lex. Clark was just telling me your meteor theory. I like it. Especially since most people think my company is secretly behind everything that goes wrong in Smallville. Are you the only one that blames the meteors instead of me? Pretty much. Well, there is Mr. Hamilton. Call me when you're looking for a summer job. I've got friends over at the Inquisitor. I'll see you tomorrow. I hear you're escorting the birthday girl. Nice work. We're just going as friends. Sure you are. Oh, hope you got her a nice gift. 
The gift pressure. See you in class, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Stomach flu, I can't keep anything down. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I just need to rest up for tomorrow night. Look, if you don't feel up to it, I'll understand. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss this for the world. Hey, Jody, I've been watching you. Bet you have. Hitting the gym was a good idea. You should okay. take your own advice. Like, who are you to tell <laughs> anybody, buddy? You don't feel look right? that thin yourself, pal. I'm just a little hungry. You like what you see? Totally. I'll bet you wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more, would ya? Follow me. She's gonna eat him. She's gonna eat that guy. Confederacy of dunces. First edition. Early birthday gift? From Whitney. I couldn't believe it. It's a cool gift. Sometimes I think he's a million miles away and then he surprises me with something like this. How are things on the party front? I surrendered. I told Nell to make the final decisions without me. I cannot believe how anti-birthday you are. Haven't you ever had a happy birthday? Went to a drive-in. That doesn't sound like Nell's style. It was with my parents. My dad pulled the car up to the front row so that the screen filled up the entire windshield. I remember oh, feeling all grown smile. up because I got to sit in the front seat with them. They played Bugs Bunny cartoons before the movie started. It was cold, so my mom wrapped me up in her sweater. That sounds nice. Fell asleep before the movie even started between my mom and dad. It's the last time I can remember feeling completely safe. That's a great memory. Huh? You about to get eight. You about to get eight, bruh. You about to get eight. You about to get liposuction by her. You don't think I, uh... I ever meant that stuff I said about you when you were... Fat. <laughs> you thought it was funny calling me names. Making me cry. Making me wish that I were dead rather than fat. Well, what can I say? You can That's say so. you're sorry. <laughs> oh, God. That's no match for him. For Superman strength. Oh! Jeez! The hell's that? A meth lab? We're making meth here? What's going on? I don't touch that. You're not sterile and you're not me. My apologies, Dr. Hamilton. You don't have a website, do you? Excuse me? They're usually the ones who track me down. The I'm fuck just a do fan. I know him from? Uh, Lex Luthor. The billionaire's son. Mineralogists don't have fans. Most mineralogists didn't handle the first Apollo moon rocks. That was a lifetime ago when I was a respectable scientist. You know, we may have a few things in common. I was kicked out of Metropolis University, too. Ever since I found out about a medical condition I have, I've become very interested in your work, Dr. Hamilton. And you think it has something to do with meteors? Isn't that your theory? The meteors somehow alter cellular makeup? That sounds to me like research worth funding. Sorry, my funding is private and so are my results. Your funding comes from tourists. When you change your mind, you know where to find me. I would buy a meteor. I called rock. the hospital this morning. Dustin's in a coma. Time to revisit the fat sucking vampire theory. You know, if you hadn't been there, he probably would have died, Clark. What I can't figure out is why anybody would want to steal body food. I know, it takes eating disorders to a whole new level. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, study group, remember? Totally slipped my mind. So no more veggie shakes, huh? Are you feeling okay? Pete said you felt sick yesterday. Oh, that. I'm fully recovered. Uh, I guess it's safe to say that the diet's finally over. Darling, I haven't eaten anything all day. A little nervous about the party tonight. She's stressing me out, man. So, um, I'll see you guys tonight. Okay, what was that about? I don't know. Why? We'll talk about this later. Hey, where are you going? Just working on Lana's birthday gift. Any hints? Yeah. It's not a gift certificate. <laughs> What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What do you think? It's really... Not you at all. I heard the quarterback couldn't make it. I know you'd be devastated when he's trying out for a football scholarship to Kansas State. I know. Oh, your aunt told me. I like your new escort better. Have fun tonight. Mom, you almost done? Relax, Clark. You're not gonna be late for once. By the way, did you figure out what to get Lana? Yeah, Lex helped me out. So what is it? I thought you were bunning out of this. You better learn how to iron. Ooh. You've got to take a look at this. Chloe, why aren't you dressed? Clark, you really, really need to check this out. Smallville body and fender. Replace windshield, replace side panels. Cause of accident, impact with deer. It was Jody's car, Clark. Her house is built right next to one of the big meteor hits. And she lost all that weight by drinking juice from vegetables grown in the soil in her greenhouse. She's losing weight too fast to keep up with regular food. And that's why she needs body fat. Exactly. We need to find her. Jody wouldn't let anything keep her from getting to that party. Pete. You better not eat Pete. Looks pretty though. Don't 
eat Pete. Don't eat Pete. Hi. Uh, Hi. Perfect flowers for a perfect date. They're beautiful, Pete. Uh, so is that dress. Thanks. It was my mom's. Something wrong? I'm fine. I just need to eat. No! That doesn't sound right. Maybe we should go to the hospital. You've always been good to me. Please go away Jody. now. Go away. Jody, wait! Jody, Pete. Jody. Jody, come on. No, go, Jody. why would you go in? Jody, where are you? Please get away. Jody. I just wanted to be in. I just want to be in. Please go home. Come on, Jody, you don't have to hide. I don't want to hurt you. Come on, Jody, you couldn't hurt her. <laughs> Just tell me what's happening. Please leave. He get the fuck out of there, bud. What's wrong? But he tried to drain his body. He wait, which is what's wrong? Jody. Oh, <laughs> be in there. Why can't you just leave me alone? You're sick. Whatever you did to yourself, you can get help. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the lengths people would go to to be thin. This isn't you. Isn't this what I'm supposed to look like? <laughs> Damn it. Look at me. I'm a freak. I know how to stop this for good. Wait! Ah. Ah. Damn. Jody? Holy Pete. shit. Get over here, quick! Clark? Is she okay? I think so, but we need to get her to a hospital. Damn! Sneaking out, huh? Isn't this your shindig? So in all the invitations? You're not hiding, you're getting some air. I spent 18 years of Luther Christmas parties in the coat room. Still waiting for my reinforcements. I know Clark, he'll be here if he can. It's just a birthday. No. Clark, not even a phone call or something? Clark, what happened? The police called. I'm fine. How's Pete? He's got a serious migraine, but other than that, he's okay. Jody Melville's on the way to Metropolis General. Her father's gonna meet her there. I'm sorry about the party. I promised Lana I'd be there. I can't believe I let her down. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. Like Lana? Maybe. He made your choice. Where are you going? I don't have to sacrifice everything. <laughs> Back for some more rocks? Apparently, I have a clean bill of health. Congratulations. I couldn't figure out why you're so resistant to accept my help. And here I thought you got kicked out of Metropolis University for meteor theories. But apparently, it was your student-teacher relations. Ooh. I wonder if the Smallville police have you register. Get out. Wouldn't that be a... I want you to look at something. Registered for what? That age? I don't care about the past. I believe in the power age. to reinvent yourself. You want to prove to the world you've been right all along? A check should cover your vindication. What you're looking for could take years. I'm a patient man. Let me borrow some. Let me get some. Tell me, why does a billionaire son care so much about a bunch of rocks that fell out of the sky 12 years ago? I say that story for the people I trust. Shit. Oh my God, this jam. Kind of miss cocktail hour. I'm sorry. Told you I stopped believing in happy birthdays a long time ago. Maybe I can change that. I know I blew it tonight, but at least let me give you your present. When? Now. He took her to a drive-in. Lana. Yes? Happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> That's cute. Ah! What a song! I am, like, loving this show, y'all. I really am. Every episode. And these guest stars... Come on, Amy Adams. Come on, A-lister. Oh my God, I'm shook. That was another solid episode. I love it. I can't wait for more. I can't wait to see who I'm going to recognize on this shit next. I am living. I also think I'm in love. <laughs> that was solid. That was solid. Some uh, sensitive subject matter there for sure definitely is especially i think 
in the, in this time, I don't think people talked about stuff like that as much, you know, eating disorders and all that kind of stuff. So interesting take on it. Uh, yeah. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.